the 8th day of August 1955 at the hospital in Onitsha. A baby was born into the family of Chief Philip and Mrs. Christiana Obiano, alias Adenije. The child grew in the fear of God and under the care and guidance of his loving parents at number 11 Adjasa Street, Onitsha. The child is Chief Willie Madabro Chuku Obiano, Abokwe Dika Guleri. Father, banker, technocrat, public policy leader on economic and human development, philanthropist, award winner, politician of high repute, and the governor of Anambra State. It is often said that great men are not born great, but they grow great. This could actually describe the humble beginning of Chief Willie Madaburochuku Obiano, who hails from Ezia Gola Guleri in Anambra East local government area of Anambra State. Born of a disciplinarian, a famous teacher and catechist in Otocha, on a highly enterprising mother whose mangala shop was one of the most popular then in Otocha market. Willie grew up with an unimaginable confidence that later helped him conquer the world. Uh, some other people say he's too proud and pompous the way he carries himself, but that's not true. Um, when you see him, you know, he, he, he moves with uh, dignity, and that's because he's royalty. He's from Aguilera Kingdom, he's, uh, he's a prince of Aguilera. Uh, He's related to the, the goals and uh, he's uh, an Abok Wedike uh, and he cheer for my grade for Mambara. Why would shouldn't he be proud, you know? So I like him when he walks, you know. He walks with the dignity that comes from a uh, person from Mambara area. Uh, you know, that's the way he, you know, he walks majestically. But beneath that is a, is a, a true uh, human being. Um, um, he's, uh, he's not vain. She will is extremely confident. He has always known what he wants. Although his father died while he was still young, his father's strict and sound teachings on accountability, uprightness, hard work, diligence and achievement rubbed off on Madaburochiku, while his mother's business acumen, sense of style, Gregor's spirit and sense of humor rubbed off so much on him that Whoever meets him goes home happier. He's, he's funny. When he wants to be serious, he's very serious. Uh, when you sit around and relax, you see the realization. Um, uh, they say all work and no play. Um, it's not good for the body. And so, so he tries to combine the two. And I'm very, very happy to be working with him. Um, he's a leader. Like a police father, you don't lose joke about anything. You will always calm you down. That's why we never fought as kids. You will always calm you down and throw you some jobs, you know, some jokes to you. You know, some time from Salah, then you will start laughing and you forget everything. He took, I mean, I think he took that from the father. The father was a very nice joker. I'm going to ask some now, some. Some of us. That's all. That's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, um, I'm going to leave you in. For young Obiano, a surgeon in the city did not deter him from mixing up with his peers whenever he found himself in his ancestral home, Aguleri. When you come back in Aguleri, every young uh, boy, the two things you learn when you grow up is how to swim the Alhambra River and how to fish. So I taught him how to swim and uh, how to fish. He was the person controlling the, the, the pen as a paddler, and I was the person throwing the net and uh, you know, uh, 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 setting up the, 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 the hooks and the... Coming back from school for the lad also meant helping mom in the market. This did not stop him from being studious. <laughs>
ma ke ri eje mu ya bo ona e ja oku ya steady ona ta ra oku i o so temu na aja nyele ma ka na aja nele o se la aja o se me ibe ni na 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 o se 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 o me sigo na e ja oka oke ai be ni si e mu o kali anyo solo mama mu jebe san teresa na je san teresa na je chi anya o de ni si na ko ji atonaka ri anje mu ya onwere onwere at onwere complain ile no mu aka na nechi ntin ke adere ahuku ya ni mo ye jero leti na je ahuku ya goma na je gbo o me je nete leti ndi nkuzi na eti eri na 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 Neto, na kaji ko, ana ka, ana lo lo ibu, gocha huko ago, lo na mekato mabe baibe, muakana na, amari, na na to na mami ba na grasa. The home front was a moral training school of sorts for little Willie, as exhibited in his show of respect and kindness for his elders, honesty, obedience, diligence. Empathy for the socially disadvantaged was the watchword for Mada Aburochuku from the cradle. All the old women that, come, that, that came around to buy things with their bush lantern, will you be, uh, tell, will you tell you, uh, Mama, let me help you to clean the, 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 the that this uh, glass, you know, this uh, uh, kind of glove, who will help you, you know, open it, clean it very well, the package the whole thing, put on the light for you again and give it to the old woman. He had that uh, material uh, approach to this. He was always uh, sympathizing with people in uh, difficulties. Quarrel. On a battalion, dear Obey, even. Nate, you can't see a dying young Matanga, who do chair. Quarrel. All the days weaker. Quarrel. No trail a cage, you better ice than I believe. Oh, na zo mo obo yin mo obo yin ni ndi di ve nwo ona enye e wo ti vo lili ona enye ro di ni ndi ve nwo he has always loved community and communal living all his life you know he is he does so much for his people uh when the igwe in kaso decided to bestow him with the title of apokodike as an honorary chief, uh, that was, he didn't stop there. After he had been given that uh, honorary chief title, he continued doing what he was doing. And uh, at some point, the entire Aguilera people decided that uh, he should be part of the decision making. You know, Initially, we thought maybe why he was doing what he was doing was because uh, you know some people do all these things to get that recognition, to get Sipas title. But after the title had been given to him, he even started doing more for the community. Governor Willie Obiano's academic journey, which started from Holy Trinity Primary School, successfully led him to the famous Christ the King College, CKC Onicha. Where he performed excellently well. When Willie Abiano was here, he was a very serious student. He was a member of the Boy Scouts, and you know, Boy Scouts are known for for discipline. And uh, that should not surprise anybody because of his uh, parental background. His father was a teacher, and the Katki. So we can see the background from where he was coming from. And, while he was here, he was a very serious student. He was his academic caliber very, very sound. I have known that he, he made up by six A's in the NYX in school set, one of the best results during his own days. Uh, while he was here, he won John F. Kennedy Award in essay writing, and you can still see the trace of that skill in writing and constructing essay. You can still see it in his speech. You know, we need, I'm not saying because he's a governor today, as a child was very brilliant. He was good in mathematics. And uh, but I was good in English. So we were kind of uh, competing. You know, he would teach me, uh, uh, I didn't lose it, we call it arithmetic. And uh, I would 
started teaching English. He later gained admission into the Department of Accountancy at the University of Lagos, Unilag, where he graduated with a BSc second class upper degree. He completed his youth service in Benue State, where he backed a National Merit Certificate for Outstanding Service here. In advancement of his profession, Governor Willio Biano Abokwedi Kaguleri returned to his alma mater, Unilag, 15 years later for an MBA and came out in flying colors. He is now a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN. On graduation from the university, Mada Borochuku Obiano got his first job as an officer in First Bank PLC in 1981 and later left for a higher post in Texaco as a lead accountant with a specialty in Lube Bankering Refinery account. His desire for hard work earned him four promotions in eight and a half years. Chief Willie Obiano's professional achievements include member Audit Team, Texaco Refinery, Rotterdam, Netherlands, 1989. An Executive Director, Number 2 Man of Fidelity Bank. On retirement from Fidelity Bank PLC, Abu Kwedike delved into politics and was finally elected and sworn in as the Executive Governor of Anambra State on March 17, 2014, making history as the first Omambala man to become the governor of Anambra State. Willie stepped into government, demystified governance by taking government to the people. Willie is from Omambala, which incidentally is where I come from as well. Um, time was when we were all derogatorily referred to as uh, politically unambitious victims of gluttonous contentment we would eat ourselves silly and set our faculties with alcohol and you know people who are generally given to a hedonistic lifestyle that was what people assessed us as because we never had the opportunity of running the affairs of government now Willie comes in for the very first time somebody from Mombabala steps into government uh, he has broken the jinx that somebody from Anambra North can never be governor you know since the state began we never had the privilege and uh, we're glad to the former governor for making that possible and today uh, we have a superman, I will call him, because Willie Obiano is a superman. Look at what he's doing. Uh, he's uh, doing everything possible. He's working, really, and transforming Anambra State in more ways uh, than one could see. He's uh, laying good foundation and building on the foundations that were laid before he came in. His inaugural speech was replete with his four C's economic blueprint of continue, complete, commission and commence new projects, which is all learning with his vision of representing the state through an economic renaissance. <laughs> Since his assumption of office, he has accelerated the transformation of Anambra State through a systematic implementation of his economic blueprint. We are lucky indeed to have in Anambra State our dear governor, Chief Dr. Willie Obiano, Aboko Dike of Ibo Indeed, 
we are beneficiaries of uh, his wonderful um, administrative uh, you know, acumen in the area of infrastructural provision. As chairman of Board of Trustees of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, Chief Willie Obiano is successfully driving the realization of the full potential of the Igbo man and the even development of his socioeconomic environment. Aboko Dika is a great leader, a philanthropist, a humanist, an altruist, and above all, a compassionate and passionate leader. And we are lucky in Anabasi to have him as our governor. He has performed tremendously since less than two years into his uh, four-year first tenure. And every Anambrarian is proud of him. In fact, Anambra State is now a model state in Nigeria. The governor mandated me to make sure that all the streetlights in Anambra State, all the water schemes that we have done should be rehabilitated and make sure that all is to be enjoyed by our good people of Anambra State. I have all the feelings that he will be a wonderful governor here and he has shown the signs. I'll go all out to support his government. He's a sincere man. He has been ambitious to be able to come to this height at a short age, at a, the age of 60. But the youth of today want to climb to the top before from that they can come down. But the idea is to start from ground and move up. And he has done so. For Abu Kweitike, security forms the foundation of every development. He pursued this determination with vigor, dislodging kidnappers and dismantling their dens, and has led the state to become an investor's heaven. He stepped down the crime rate, too. He decongested the gauntlet that is upper Iweka. Then he brought back social and nightlife to Anambra State. One of the outstanding and which will continue to reoccur is achievement in Anambra State uh, is his magic of bringing security to Anambra State. Perhaps this is the reason why JAM decided that this university will be used to do their technical meeting. If there were no security, I don't think they would have chosen this university. And I think one of the things he did was just uh, giving us uh, a more peaceful state by way of these hoodlums and the kidnappers and the rest of them. Because uh, right now, as far as I know, uh, uh, the issue of kidnapping and things like that, they have gone. As an institution, we have benefited immensely through the very wonderful security network he has established you know, throughout the state, of which Nandazikwe uh, University that is resident and is situated here in Waka and Newe as well as in Agoro. We are all uh, covered through the wonderful security network. So at least you cannot sleep your numbers with your two eyes closed. You can walk around where you're staying without fear being molested or carried away. I think it's a very strong achievement, it's a major achievement. And so many good things are coming back to the States. Our values are coming back. Uh, there's nobody to compare with me. Today, Governor Willow Biano is the most crime fighter governor in Nigeria. He's number one. When you, you go to the, uh, the major markets in Alamba, you can see there is adequate security. Uh, CCTV camera is there watching you, like nothing like picking pockets again. I see him as a very courageous man. Because when he assumed the leadership of this state, I know how security was when he came in, and uh, he actually put up a big fight against the hoodlums. And within just a period of maybe about one month, Anambra State became 
very calm. And the fact became one of the most secure, one of the safest and most secure states in the Federation. Before now, Oka, the capital of Anambra State, has always been described as a glorified village. And to bridge this gap, the governor established the Oka Capital Development Authority, ACTDA, and triggered off massive road and infrastructural development of not just Oka, but other parts of the state. Within the short period that we have stayed, uh, we are witnessing continuation of um, infrastructural development in the state. The roads uh, uh, are not abandoned by the government. Even in my own community, it just flooded off um, um, a, a new road that links our community to other communities. The government is doing all the access roads leading to all the major markets in Anambra State. The solar uh, bright is there. I can tell you that over 12 markets have benefited from that. Borehole, fat food, you see, uh, firefighting equipment. If you go to a major market now, you see firefighting vehicle. All of them are there within one year. And the uh, international market, Oba, and the West Africa Trade Center, you know, all of them, you know, you know, Google, all of them is coming up. Well, I'll start by saying, I'll put it this way. By His Excellency Chiwini Obianya, it's a legacy for the unborn world, for people living. Simply put, he came, he saw, he conquered. He conquered in many aspects. In the area of banking industry, he has helped. In the area of governance, in a number of states, he also excelled. He set up a template for future leaders to emulate. Here was a man that was relatively, you know, uh, not into political terrain. He came to the state and changed the landscape. I've been able to come closer to His Excellency, Dr. Willy Obiano, a man of uh, the people, Boko uh, Diko Bulbuna, Africa, and worldwide. Uh, he's a man of integrity, a man of honor, a man whose measure cannot be is highly measurable. Uh, in terms of uh, acting, you know, in where he is acting positively to the life of uh, the Nambarian, especially the civil servants, it's enormous. Now, when he came, he increased the civil servant salary uh, by 15 percent. So he has been so keen in, in, in ameliorating the sufferings of the masses of Anambra State. Having come from an agrarian society. Governor Biano has invested heavily in the development of agriculture in both the public and private sectors. We are producing so much quantity of uh, rice. So he encourages fish farming. A lot of fish farmers are now domiciled in Anambra State. Tourism, entertainment and the broadcast industries have adopted a positive stance in the economic development of Anambra State as a result of favorable indices put in place by Governor Biano. This is actually the site of the new ABS, Anambra Broadcasting Service, the radio studio and the TV studio. So we're very excited to be out here today. If you remember His Excellency, uh, Chief Dr. Willie Obiano, he was there in March with Her Excellency to lay the foundation stone. So you can see the project is coming on strong. And uh, I just only need to make an, an apology. You know, His Excellency, we had wished that we we'll invite you over for your 60th birthday broadcast in the studio. But unfortunately, that did not happen. But I have it on good authority that the Confax, the company doing the project, yes. that you guys will be ready for Christmas. By God's right? grace, before so Christmas. So the Christmas, Christmas broadcast will happen here. Yes, and we wish him a long life. Okay, so on behalf of Anambra Broadcasting Service and all the people at the site, yes. come on, everybody, come on. Come, let's wish His Excellency yes. happy 60th birthday. birthday. Okay? Yes. Come on, shout. How many bozas for yourself? Three bozas for yourself. Yeah. Say boza, boza, boza. Happy birthday, Your Excellency. Happy birthday, Excellency. Happy birthday. Long life. Nightlife has now returned to the light of the nation. I joined the government in July 2014, and before that period, you know, I'm from Enugu, so I would normally come home, you know, every Christmas or maybe sometimes during Easter. And you know, people, nobody could go out in Anambra State. People couldn't go out, you know. 
And uh, in the last one, two years, you know, since His Excellency came on board, nightlife has returned, you know, not only in Oka, go to Onicha. You know, people are, you know, out on the, every, every night, you know, with their families, you know, so it's, it, it, it's, it's amazing and it's exciting. Chief Willie Madaburochuku Obiano, from childhood, has always assumed leadership roles and responsibilities, a quality his friends have always admired with passion. I have known His Excellency all my life. I grew up knowing him, and even as a teenager, as a young adult, he was a leader. He, he was always a rallying point for the young men around. You know, we used to call him captain. And you know what captain means. So he had always led the young people in the community, and we looked up to him. Uh, he became a role model for some of us, uh, you know. I don't know why uh, uh, my own uh, parents named me Willie. I don't know why, but I grew up knowing him as a namesake, and we always followed him. He was a troop leader in the scout, the first scout movement. So he has always been a leader. Uh, doing the work, we are, we are kind of what we call, we formed a kind of children army. The children army, we, 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 are, we are kind of people who are captain, the colonel, we taught, we taught us we produce uh, uh, by ourselves. Willie was uh, made the captain, he was the leader. So he has the leadership quality. Even when we were, uh, you know, a scout, during the war we were having uh, scout uh, uh, activities, all these uh, boy scout activities against guys. In their place, the father was teaching us you know, things about scout. He was a patrol leader. We were in a pilot house. Uh, pilot uh, uh, house was, I think I can call him house that time. He was our leader there. And he was, today, in fact, see him, I still call him captain. I call him captain because he was a captain during the Chile army. He was the leader. Uh, he became the captain. And uh, to, if I see him today, I still call him Captain Willie. So he was known as Captain Willie. Throughout, uh, uh, the world. His administrative ingenuity in running the state is exemplary and stands him out as a worthy role model for both his workers and all those who have come across him, especially the youth. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Chief Willie Obiano, is an administrator, somebody that want to get things done and done very well. It has to be right. He has no room for excuses. Before he gives you an assignment, he believes that you have the capacity and the ability to deliver. Therefore, you should not come back to give him reasons. Abu Kwedike is a seasoned leader of proven integrity who has consistently shown off an enviable mien through a dint of hard work, clarity of purpose, team play, accountability and integrity in both private and public spheres. His style committed to prosperity, empathy, and then the progress of welfare of the people that he has come to, to, to lead. Passionate, very passionate, his eyes on the ball, no distractions at all. I think by my close reading, interpretation of him, he meant to make a change and then hand over the baton for other people to build block by block the prosperity of an state. He is a gentle man of noble yet humble demeanor who believes that leadership is a call to service that must be executed through a master-servant relationship to institute a positive change in the society. The youth should really be pay attention to his dedication to duty. Since Governor Obiano became the executive governor of an state, I can count the functions that he has been to late. So he has caused lateness to any function at all because to him is a mark of irresponsibility. He goes to church on time, make sure that he sits down there before the people starts coming in, and he is the last to leave because he makes sure that he is there until mass is over, the service is over. During the campaign, when we visit places, he operates from his country coming out and we will drive down from Afaterim Sonoka to go and meet him. If he tells you we are leaving 
by seven o'clock. We are make, we used to make fun, you know, of ourselves with that. But once the governor says he's leaving by seven o'clock, targeting by five minutes to seven, he's already walking to his car. He leads by example. He's extremely transformational, and he is revolutionizing the leadership of the state of Anambra. He's a jolly good fellow to start with. But uh, beyond all that, uh, he's a method man, uh, both by uh, personality and by training. Uh, the uh, governor is a very disciplined man who starts with planning. In everything he does, um, he plans well, and that might be, uh, people say that it is um, uh, based on uh, his background as a banker, but I say it's actually more than that. I think it's something that's inborn in him. The governor is a very interesting personality, very vibrant, and uh, I think his name describes his personality, Mother Broch Bobiana. He believes that uh, the human being can achieve anything or success man to it. He's a great leader, he has been an inspiration to me, and I'm thoroughly uh, enjoying my relationship with him. I think he's a very uh, good asset at this point in time in our history for an Ambra State. And I think he's doing a wonderful job. I live pray that God will give him strength as he clocks the age of 60. The Think Home philosophy is a strong belief of His Excellency, Chief Dr. Willie Obiano, and this lends credence to his heightened contribution to the development of his hometown. Aguleri, long before he became a governor. Chief Obiano, with the support of his dear wife, Chief Mrs. Ebele Chuku Obiano, strongly advocates for and intervenes on behalf of the less privileged in the society, triggering off prayers and support for him and his family. When he was doing all the things he was doing for the community, well, you know you can't do some of these things without the support of your spouse. So, the wife was always by his side and even the wife was doing so much for the women you know, the wife uh, uh, chief mrs uh, Beru Biano, was the first uh, cabinet chief a woman that was the first time aguilero as a community made a woman a cabinet chief <laughs> This old soldier, in his musings, captured Abu Kodika in the slide. Obiano would be Uzano. Yano Chiri, Peter would be. Peter will be Syrian in Angoli. Yeah, Ponitre, Obiano. Ebe Peter will be Meran in Ma. Monoboqua, so, or fool be. On your Ponitre, Grubiano. Manubi <laughs> Obiano will be Ozano. Obiano Napita will be Bufu. Ha boa Niji Chatu to me. Obi na Obiano Bora Yoni Yen. Ha Jere. Olo ipe, ure mere bado. Anam bara, 
Bruno Otto, Tony Chineke, ma capite ubi, Tony ya, ma capite ya no, Ihe chime ribu sina pito ubi, Oge me ya, Ozo ubura no, Site ni ihe ubi ya no, Geme, Ekere dire chineke, Ma capite ubi, De quale è ma cosa no? E per governare, Gubia no? Ne è menciata, che ho guarito. E per magari, Gubia no? Gubia Abu Kwedike is blessed with a beautiful, supportive wife, Chief Mrs. Abela Chuku Obiano, and two adorable children, a son and a daughter. The man we are celebrating today, Chief Willie Obiano, has truly expanded the frontiers of good governance in Anambra State. He has taken on the challenge to give Ndibo a pride of place in Nigeria. In appreciation for a good working relationship between the governor and the state workforce, the State Civil Service Commission organized a birthday bash for His Excellency Chief Willie Madaburochuku Obiano. Count of three. I'm counting down. Three, two, one, zero. As he celebrates his 60th birthday, it is only befitting to wish him the very best in life and to say that this is just the beginning as his best is yet to come. At 60, um, I wish him good health. I wish him I wish him good luck, I wish him long life and prosperity. Happy 60th birthday, Chief Doctor Willie Madaburochiku Obiano, Abokwedi Kaguleri.